so I wanted to make this video so that I could point to it for when friends and family ask how they're able to come visit. I'm going to walk you guys through how to actually be able to visit Japan. This video only applies to American citizens for the record. I'll have links to everything in the description. And let's get started. First step for US citizens is to go about actually getting your passport. This process takes three to four months usually, so you want to start doing that now, not later. The first thing you have to do is go online and fill out the application form, print that out and have a few copies on hand. Then you have to go about gathering the documents you'll need. The first set of documents you're probably going to need are, and there will be details for the list of things on the website, these are just the most common ones people use, an original copy of your birth certificate, and a valid ID, usually a driver's license. You want to have front and back copies of both of those made. Uh, for the actual birth certificate, you'll have to submit the original and they'll send it back to you, so make sure you have copies made of that. After you have the application form, your driver's license or ID, and your birth certificate, you're going to have to go about actually getting your passport photos taken. Now, any CVS or Walgreens already has the staff there who are able to do that for very cheap. Uh, I've had to do it twice, and I think it probably took about five to ten minutes and cost maybe five or six dollars. Obviously, the price will vary a little bit, but it only takes a second, and you can do it basically anywhere. I would have several copies of that made because you might need multiple. After you have your passport photos taken, you have your documents collected, you'll need the funds to actually pay for the passport fee. That varies a little bit, all of that will be on their website. Generally, I'd say it's between $100 and $150. I'd probably suggest getting both the passport and the passport ID, just because it's good to have both if you're traveling. Once you have all of these things together, you'll go to your local post office, they'll help you submit everything, and then you will send it off. Uh, typically, it takes seven to 10 weeks for that. I would say that you, there is an expediated option. Uh, they'll have actual details on their website, but it's a pretty long process. You won't have those documents available. You'll be sending a photocopy of your ID. You don't have to send them your driver's license. But you have to have your passport. It has to be valid before you can travel anywhere outside the US for the most part. There are a few exceptions, but it's a general rule of thumb. So starting tomorrow, this is filmed on October 10th, October 11th is when the country is actually opening up without COVID restrictions. As of tomorrow, you'll be able to enter Japan as a US citizen for tourism or business for up to 90 days. You don't have to apply for a visa for that. So as long as you have your passport and documentation showing both your arrival and intended departure dates, you should be able to go through without issue. For anyone who is looking to get a visa, the most common visas are work visas and general visas. The process for each of those is slightly different. For the work visa, you'll need the application form filled out. You'll need your passport photo. So this is one of the reasons you need several of those printed because you have to submit these along with your paperwork for Japan. You'll need to have the return envelope and the shipping, aka the stamp, already applied to it. You'll need some supporting documentation that might vary depending on the job you're trying to apply for. And then the final thing you'll need there is your letter of guarantee. Your employer in Japan will help you fill that out and that is a letter basically stating that they will help financially take care of you and house you in Japan. If you are going on a different visa, not a work visa, it's a little different. You'll have to apply for a certificate of eligibility which is like a pre-visa application. Those can take a little while. In our specific case Mariah came to Japan through her employer and she had to apply for my visa from Japan and my certificate of eligibility I think took eight weeks before it arrived and you can't start the visa process without that. So all in all from getting the certificate of eligibility I also had to submit citizenship documents which I think was passport, birth certificate, and valid ID. All of those things had to be sent to a Japanese consulate along with the certificate of eligibility and the return envelope and shipping. For all of these, you will be sending both the original and the photocopies, excluding the ID. You will have to actually send them your passport and photocopies of it along with your birth certificate. And again, all of this will be linked in the bottom. Once all of those things are sent, it will take generally, I think, about a week. It depends on how busy they are as well. It's up to the consulate to process the paperwork. Given the country is about to open up for the first time in a few years, it might be pretty busy, so I'd get about doing that soon. And then they will send you your visa. Once that's actually sent, you are able to go through immigration and enter the country. And again, generally, most of that part of the process doesn't apply if you're just coming for tourism. All you need is your visa and your arrival and departure information. Um, I think they have tourism visas as an option. It's not required for U.S. citizens and generally they don't extend tourism visas. I hope you guys found that informative. I'm going to be pointing all of my friends and family to this video if they need anything and I'll have links in the description for everything. So if you could, please like and subscribe to the video. 
click the bell notification icon if you want to know when we're releasing videos and i'll keep on releasing a video every day until this month is over thank you and have a great day Thank you.